A man who has broken the mob's code of silence was busy spilling all kinds of secrets in front of a federal jury in Newark, the first anonymous jury ever in New Jersey. Those 12 folks have to decide if some accused mobsters were plotting to kill a rival. John Gotti, Public Usman reports. It was a one-eyed fish who took the stand today in the trial of the alleged Jersey faction of the Genovese crime family. The government's star witness, Vinny the Fish Cafaro, a mobster of 12 years who said he injured his eye in an accident. Cafaro was once a top Genovese soldier. The 55-year-old's criminal career began in 1952, and his rise in organized crime parallels Fat Tony Salerno's. The two came from the same East Harlem neighborhood, and the Palmer Boys Social Club on 115th Street off Pleasant Avenue was their base. Salerno, said Cafaro, helped him get a lawyer in 1952 when Cafaro was busted for narcotics. The fish said Salerno gave him some advice. Don't fool around with junk anymore. If you're going to do anything, steal. And that's what Cafaro did. Along the way, he broadened into gambling, numbers, extortion, the usual. By 1974, Vinnie the Fish was invited by Fat Tony Salerno to be a made member of the Genovese's, a soldier in an organized crime family. Cafaro described an initiation ceremony in which blood was taken from his trigger finger and the rules were laid down. On a table was a gun. This is the gun you live by, he was told. This is the gun you die by. If looks could kill, the fish would be floating belly up from the stairs of the six defendants. Bobby Manna, accused of being the consigliere or counselor of the Genovese's. Richard Bacci de Sissio, the alleged enforcer. Marty Mats Casella, said to be Manna's right hand. Rocco Napoli, charged with labor racketeering. Frank Dipsy Daniello, a former police lieutenant, described as an enforcer and armorer. And Johnny DiRico, accused of loan sharking. Cafaro, who turned informer in October 1986, was asked if any Genovese's were sitting at the defense table. He fingered Bobby Manna. As Judge Mary Ann Trump Barry presided, Assistant U.S. Attorney Michael Chertoff introduced photos showing alleged Genovese boss Vinnie the Chin Giganti, second from the left, standing outside his social club in Little Italy with Bobby Manna. Chertoff said there would be evidence that Manna and some of the others plotted to kill John and Jean Gotti on the orders of Vinnie the Chin. Manna, he said, had told others, we're going to bear witness of this guy nailing him, meaning John Gotti. Gene Gotti is dead. Giganti is often seen walking outside his social club in a bathrobe, sometimes accompanied by his brother, Father Louis Giganti, on the right. Vinnie the Fish said Bobby Manna and Vincent Giganti approved the 1982 killing of Nat Maselli. Assistant U.S. Attorney Michael Chertoff ended his direct line of questioning by asking Cafaro, how come you're still not a member of the Genovese family? He replied, because I'm a rat. Vinnie the Fish can expect a rigorous cross-examination when the trial resumes Tuesday. From the Newark Federal Courthouse, I'm Pablo Guzman, Fox News, Channel 5.